Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm drawing my two new favorite characters, Velvet and Veneer. Or at least they're my new favorite Trolls characters, though I didn't really have a favorite Trolls character before this. Here's a story. So back in the day when the first Trolls movie came out, I watched it. I was expecting it to be lame because I mean, it's a Trolls movie, but I'm always down to give a movie a chance, and I wanted to check it out and see for myself. And let me tell you, it was something alright. I didn't really like it, to be honest. It was one of those movies I walked away from questioning what in the world I just watched. It was so exceptionally weird that I never gave it a second thought, and in doing so, never thought about the franchise again, thus having no plans to watch the sequels. That is, until one day when I randomly came across Velvet and Veneer's version of the song Sweet Dreams. I believe it was in a YouTube short that was totally unrelated to Trolls, but I liked the sound of it so I wanted to hear the cover in full, but instead I found the song Watch Me Work, and I absolutely loved it. My first thought was, this is from a Trolls movie? Cause it was just that good. And I don't remember the songs from the first Trolls movie being this good. I'm not saying they weren't, I'm just saying I don't remember them. I knew I had to know more about the characters who sing the song, and when I did, I instantly loved them. So obviously I had to watch the movie. I also then watched the second movie, and that one was pretty good, but I gotta say, 3 is definitely my favorite. It's not just because of Velvet and Veneer, but I mean, they are the best part after all. It's so funny because when I was thinking about Velvet and Veneer and how I discovered their existence, I was reminded of one of my other new favorite characters, Spinel from Steven Universe. From the way I found them randomly in a franchise I wasn't interested in, to the characters themselves, their colorful, adorable noodles, and I am here for it. Particularly Veneer and Spinel, since the root of why they're villains is a lack of recognition and appreciation, and by the end they are reformed. Obviously their motivations are very different, Spinel has abandonment issues and Veneer just loves his sister, and all his fame and money and things he bought. And maybe nobody else sees the connection, but to me, they're the same vibe. Also, I could totally see them being friends. You know they'd be instant besties, and it's adorable. Moving on, as for the drawings, since assumedly that's why you're all here. Hi, welcome. So I was inspired to draw Velvet and Veneer immediately after watching the movie. So I drew the sketch of them, not for a video, just for fun. But they were so fun to draw, I decided I wanted to make a finished illustration of them. And of course make it into a video, what kind of YouTuber would I be if I didn't? I thought about just finishing the sketch I already drew, but like I said, a part of why I wanted to make a video is so that I could draw them again. Though I wasn't exactly sure what pose, so I watched the ending sequence for inspiration. There were a lot of cute poses to inspire me, but I was kind of wanting more of a challenge, a pose that would be more dynamic and interesting, and the pose they strike at the end of their song was perfect. It looked fun to draw, and it had an interesting angle, since we're looking up at them, so I based my drawing off of the screenshot. Though I'm not trying to replicate the scene exactly, I was more so using it as a reference. It was kind of difficult to see the details since they were so zoomed out, that was hard to say, and I just wanted to do whatever I wanted and not be confined to trying to replicate the screenshot perfectly, you know? Like, they aren't wearing capes at this point, but I added them in the drawing anyways because I liked the way it looked. Though admittedly, they are the same for the most part. It was quite interesting drawing at an angle like this. I've attempted drawing pictures where we're looking up or down at a character a few times, but it's not something I have a lot of practice in. And surprisingly, this drawing wasn't too difficult, and I actually think the perspective turned out pretty good. I whipped up the sketch pretty fast thanks to having a reference. It was definitely helpful to have. Usually I don't use a reference, I just spend forever trying to figure it out on my own, rather than spend forever looking for a reference. But let this be a lesson to you, references can be very helpful. However, I was also using prior art knowledge, keeping the angle in mind. Like when you're looking up at something, it will appear bigger at the bottom and smaller at the top. Which was tricky to make look proportionate while also being in perspective, but I tried. I also used upward curves to give the illusion of the shapes being, well, more rounded and like you're looking up at them. It's not a perfect drawing and not one that I'm totally happy with, but I did ask for this, so I guess that's on me. And hey, it's always good to practice. My cat Faith has decided to grace us with her presence, so if you hear any sounds, sorry, that's her. But yeah, there are definitely flaws in this drawing. For example, under the chin and the connection to the neck is always a tricky area for me, and it's kind of weird looking, but I think I was able to make it look decent. Velvet's left shoulder should probably be back farther, but it was difficult to judge the angle with their shoulder pads. Velvet's tassels were really fun to draw, but veneers were not. <laughs> I wasn't sure how to draw them, so they look weird, and are pretty much my least favorite part of the drawing. Fun fact about the tassels, I didn't notice this right at first, but Velvet has tassels on her shoulder pads, and Veneer has tassels as or on his sleeves. And one side is longer than the other. Their hair was also a challenge, since their hair is so tall, but the angle makes it look shorter. And on top of that, Velvet is leaning her head back, so I did my best. It doesn't look like it's as big and tall as it is in the movie, but I think it works. Though I am a little sad it doesn't look quite as whack. 
because her hair is iconic. Veneer's hair, however, the first thing I thought when I saw him was, why does he have a mullet? Because I hate mullets. Sorry, I just think they're ugly, okay? But you know what? Veneer can actually kind of pull it off, so I'll give him that. I will allow it. But the next thing I thought was, how does Veneer suddenly have so much hair? Like, where did it come from? Is he wearing extensions? Can you even get extensions like that? Or do noodle people have the ability to just grow their hair at will? Like trolls. Gasp. Did they steal that from the trolls too? Drawing the background was fun. I once again used the screenshot as a reference, but I stylized it more since I don't usually enjoy drawing backgrounds very much. However, I actually kind of loved drawing this one. I really enjoyed making the puff of pink smoke behind them and adding the little particles in the air. I also added the stars in the background and light rays from above for extra interest and because I imagined there's a spotlight on them. I then used a color gradient set to overlay over the drawing to tie it all together. I've seen other artists do this, so I decided to give it a try. For the blush, I thought it'd look cool to make their blush purple instead of pink. It kind of looks purple in the movie, and I just love mixing up the blush color on my drawings to match the character's vibe or color scheme. It's a subtle difference, but I really like the effect. I also gave Velvet a little bit of a darker blush on her cheeks, like in the movie. I didn't do anything too crazy for the shading. I used a purple on Velvet for the shadows and a blue for veneer, both on the same layer set to multiply. And when applying the shadows, I was trying to keep in mind where the light source was coming from and that the light is pretty intense. Oh, bye Faith. She's leaving. She has left us. So of course I'm drawing them in my style, but I didn't want to draw them fully human. Similarly to when I drew Spinel, another reason why I was reminded of Spinel, I let them keep their white skin and green hair. I also tried to give them more lanky proportions since they are noodle people after all, and I absolutely love them for it. I don't know why, but I've low-key been obsessed with noodle people lately. Even though my own best friend thinks noodle people are weird, I'm not crying. Anyway, I saw somewhere that Velvet and Veneer were originally going to be what are they called? The people that I feel are actually trolls? Clearly I wasn't paying attention to this part of the movie. I think they're called Gorgons or something like that? Sure, sure. Let's, Let's go, go with that. that. I'm glad we got the velvet and veneer that we did, instead of them being Gorgons. I have no idea how noodle people fit into this world, but I think it's more interesting this way. And I love their designs, so win-win. And let's be real here, this franchise is not very consistent with the lore and there are a lot of plot holes. For example, I like Viva and all, and It Takes Two is one of the best songs from the movie, in my opinion, after Velvet and Veneer songs, of course. But I think her addition to the movie was slapped in, just to give Poppy a sister since she kept referring about how she wanted one. But it was unnecessary to have happen in this movie, and it could have been a plot point saved for a future movie. But obviously these people never seem to plan for the future. Like the plot hole of how in the first movie there was that whole no troll left behind thing, but clearly there were some left behind if Viva and the others were separate but I think it could have made an interesting plot point for a fourth movie. We would have been able to get more time with Viva, and she could have had a more dynamic and complicated relationship with Poppy, her, their father, and the Gorgons. And in return, the third movie could have gotten to better flesh out its primary characters. Like I think more time with Velvet and Veneer would have been cool. We could have seen more of them and their motives. They're supposed to be our primary villains after all, they deserve more screen time. Obviously these are kids movies and I'm not the target audience, but kids deserve good movies too. And that is no excuse for lazy writing and plot holes, but I do kind of love the fact that this franchise doesn't take itself too seriously. Though I do think they do a good job at developing Poppy and Branch's relationship. It's probably the best part of the movies as a collective. However, I do think the siblings would not have been so chill about Poppy and Branch dating. Unrealistic. Ugh, who's texting me? I keep getting interrupted. However, I did try something different on the highlights. On a layer set to add glow, I used the green of their hair and a slightly lighter green for the highlight. I used to use add glow for highlights all the time, but I haven't been lately. I don't know why, but I think it sometimes makes the highlights too bright and intense. But for an illustration like this where they're under a bright light, I think it works. However, the main thing I did differently with the highlights is to use two different greens. When using add glow, I like to use the same color as it will become lighter, and I don't want it to be too bright. I then used a lighter green around the top rim of the highlights for some extra shine. One thing I noticed when drawing Velvet in veneer is that Velvet has a more defined cupid's bow, so her upper lip comes to more of a point. I usually like to draw the upper lip as a round shape because I prefer the way it looks, but this was a good reminder to mix things up sometimes because different people look different, even their lip shape. It's actually the main difference I've spotted between Velvet and veneer, as veneer has a more rounded upper lip. Speaking of which, are they twins? I thought they were, but it's never actually specified, and at one point veneer says, you met me when I was a baby, implying that Velvet is older because she would have also been a baby, so how would she know? And if they were twins, how 
how would they have ever met because they would have always been together. But I don't know, I'm reading into this. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be twins. So who is your favorite character from any of the movies? My favorite is Veneer, of course. I love him, he's adorable. And if you guys like Velvet and Veneer, like and sub. But for reals, if you enjoy this video and or drawing, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It would really help my channel out. Thank you. Despite not even liking the annoying cloud guy, cause he's a freaking weirdo, at the end of the second movie, he got a wife and kids and it's adorable and hilarious and amazing and I'm so here for it. But now, let's take a moment to talk about the character I hate most, shall we? Crimp is the worst and deserve to go to prison. Like who does she think she is rolling up to arrest Velvet and Veneer with her smug little attitude as if she's totally innocent? It's like the movie tried to play it up as if Crimp was forced into servitude. It's her job, she can just quit. And it's not like she didn't know they were torturing trolls, she was totally on board with all of this. Not to mention, she's their assistant, she was probably the one committing the tax fraud. She's an accomplice to the crime. I'm pretty sure what he just said makes us accomplices to the crime. Like, Veneer was brave, he confessed to everyone and was willing to pay the consequences. And Crimp's over here playing the victim to get out of taking responsibility for her actions. And I am still salty about it. I then added some extra highlights all the way around them using a yellow and pink rim light on a separate layer set to add glow as well. Kinda like a bounce light. And I really like it. You'll have to let me know what you think. Overall, this drawing isn't perfect, but it was very fun to draw, so I'm happy with it. In fact, it's so fun to draw velvet and veneer that I cannot stop. Using a reference for this drawing reminded me of something that I've seen other artists do, but for some reason never tried. And that is to use screenshots of a character as a reference and then replicate the pose and expression in your own style. And it's so fun. And great pose practice. Highly recommend. I filled a whole page with sketches of them. So if you want to see more velvet and veneer in my style, style, I'll be posting those on my Instagram. But now for the finished illustration. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, love you, bye!